What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out why wrestlers are now leaving WWE. Now, um, I saw this um being brought to my attention on Twitter. Apparently, Dijak is supposed to be um leaving WWE, even though they drafted him to be on Monday Night Raw. They haven't done nothing with him. He's essentially just been sitting at home ratioing people on Twitter. And they haven't used him. So I'm guessing his his contract's supposed to be ending up. I'm uh, ending relatively soon. But uh, he said on Twitter that he's going to, you know, end up leaving and going somewhere else. But it's just, it's very weird that they didn't utilize the guy, even though he was doing some great things in NXT when they brought him back because they wasn't utilizing him in in a, 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 a great way when he was on the main roster originally. So uh, we're going to see what's going on here but appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on the channel let's get right into it bro so many wrestlers leaving wwe <laughs> a Dijak is just the latest wwe superstar on his way out of the company leaving fans wondering what is going on yeah. be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on facebook for exclusive lists a current wwe superstar Dijak, who competed in wwe as t-bar a member of the short-lived faction retribution before returning to nxt is now leaving the wwe as of 28th june if you missed it in the news, WrestleVotes recently reported Perry's X account Dijak will be finishing up with the WWE tomorrow, 28th June, after WWE decided to not renew his contract. So it's not even relatively soon. I'm filming this on the 20, 27th, so in the 28th, on Friday, he's out of there. Damn. Dijak was drafted back to Raw in 2024, but was an afterthought on the red brand. Yeah. Well, let's look at the first reason why, as WWE is trimming the fat. One thing that's clear is that TKO Holdings wants a lean mean company that maximizes profits and minimizes waste. The WWE has done a fantastic job securing additional sources of revenue, particularly from sponsorship deals and rights fees for cities that want to host WWE PLEs. And if recent reports are accurate, to host TV shows such as Raw and SmackDown. As fans saw during the pandemic, the WWE saved a small fortune when it released a small army of superstars, including some major names such as Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. Future endeavoring talent like Dijak isn't a surprise, but as we'll see, there are other talents possible departures that have left fans scratching their heads. Mm -hmm. Number two, talents that have no room for growth. In some cases, the WWE likely feels that talent have no room for further growth or it's not worth the cost of waiting to see if they improve. Two names come to mind, that being Dijak and Gable Steveson. While Dijak is a big man who has a look the WWE once bent over backwards to get under Vince McMahon, he's also 37 years old. Dijak has mm. been in the WWE since 2017, largely on NXT, and with the exception of his run in Retribution, he spent a long time on the black and gold brand without any sign of him deserving to work on the main roster. Olympic gold medal winner Gable mm. Stevenson's recent release has baffled some WWE fans. The company brought him in with great fanfare with hints that he might be this generation's Kurt Angle, a legitimate Olympic gold medalist in wrestling who seemed to have the look and skills to transition to the pro ranks. And despite the initial excitement, fans noticed that WWE was slow to debut Stevenson, despite yeah. him having signed a name, image, and likeness deal in 2020, and reportedly signed with the WWE in 2021. A rumor has it that Stevenson was not doing well at adapting to pro wrestling, However, the mm. WWE seemed willing to invest the time and money to try and bring him up to speed. Unfortunately, Stevenson's limited appearances made it questionable whether he could make the jump to the pro ranks or whether fans had any interest in him at all. In fact, he was heavily booed in NXT when he wrestled against Baron Corbin. In Stevenson's case, the WWE clearly cut its losses, refusing to continue to pay for Plus, I think it was just some allegations that he was dealing with too um, that definitely didn't help his stock either so gable's contract in what seemed like a losing investment <clears throat> while stevenson may prove adept at professional wrestling in the future our next point shows why the wwe isn't concerned is number three the excess of exiting talent but does the wwe have more talent than it knows what to do with it's a common complaint with the wwe and to be fair AEW as well Triple H brought back many released talents mm -hmm. when he took over in the WWE's creative department and he also signed exiting talent to long-term deals to keep them around and away from the competition. As fans have seen, not every one of these talents pan out, but they don't have to. The WWE has a system in place now where they can bring in young talents from other sports, train them in the WWE system, as opposed to retraining existing wrestlers from the indie circuit and pay yeah. them a modest salary while selecting the cream of the crop. Consequently, the WWE is a large existing talent pool and a large pool of potential talent it can draw on. Number four. And this is just one of those things where it's like, it's unfortunate 
that Dijak uh, is leaving, but I mean, I hate to say this, but they have an abundance of talent right now. And it sucks because I do think he would have been a, a, a really great addition to Monday Night Raw for sure. And just being on the main roster. Um, and it would have been nice to have seen him on there. But I guess they didn't have nothing for him. I mean, the guy was getting himself over on Twitter by ratioing people. He was finding a way to keep himself relevant without even being seen on television. So, I don't know. To me, I think that's a commendable thing to do, but... I mean, they, they didn't, I don't know if they didn't have anything for them. Like, that would make sense. Limited TV time. On paper, the WWE having two weekly TV shows, or three if you count NXT, and monthly PLEs, means that there are many opportunities for wrestlers to work matches and become involved in storylines. Yeah. However, Triple H's focus on a select number of storylines has mm -hmm. led to fewer matches on TV and at PLEs. While many fans believe the quality of storytelling has improved with more consistency, less plot holes, and angles that don't insult fans' intelligence, Triple H limits how many storylines are going to go on and in the process how many matches yeah. there are. Despite his best efforts to give wrestlers more TV time by putting them into factions and booking matches with more superstars, there is far less time for WWE superstars than in the past. The result is that while Triple H likes to use wrestlers in different roles ranging from glorified extras to featured players, there are still many wrestlers who don't get TV time on anything resembling a regular basis. It's unfortunate too. Event players like Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Cody Rhodes and the Bloodline are featured regularly, other talents struggle for TV time, let alone any active storyline. This means that some wrestlers know that their future in the company means that they're going to be stuck putting over other talent with yeah. little chance of getting any time in the spotlight. As fans have seen, some wrestlers have no problem putting on good matches and counting the lights for a steady paycheck, Dolph Ziggler being one example. However, with the WWE increasingly cunning talent, there are no guarantees for wrestlers, which means that they are looking elsewhere. Number five, a better future. And it's just, it, it's been like that, to keep it a buck with you. It's, it's, that's part of the wrestling business. A lot of times, there are certain storylines, certain angles, and, you know, certain individuals that are going to get pushed more. They're going to be on television more. And it's trying to find that balance of getting newer talent, and which WWE has been doing, been getting the guys that they've been wanting to get on television to get more screen time, but other talent that's, you know, veterans, they may not be able to get that opportunity unless somebody get injured and they got to get inserted into a match. And maybe it it's... That's been a thing. I even just under Triple H's air. That's been a thing for wrestling. Just trying to find your place on the card. It's it's not easy. And with the amount of wrestling we have now, they have so many stories and stars that they're pushing. You would think it would be easier. But even then, you, you don't want to just put somebody out there for like 5, 10, 15 minutes and it's meaningless. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, some people end up just being enhancement talent. So it's really trying to find that balance. But once again, it's it's not easy to do. So future elsewhere. For some wrestlers, a decision not to renew a WWE deal is all about the money. Mm -hmm. Not every talent is an A-lister, but as fans have seen with free agents like Mercedes Monet, there are still opportunities to command incredible salaries while also working a lighter schedule. Yeah. WWE superstars have seen that despite AEW's current ratings and attendance problems. Tony Khan is always ready to break out the checkbook, but the WWE on the other hand is more focused on the bottom line and while it's willing to pay top dollar, it is yet to show there is a superstar who's worth breaking the bank over. Mm. This is why talents like Will Ospreay and MJF have either signed with AEW or chosen to stay there and it's likely to influence other talent whose WWE deals are nearing an end. Number 6. A Break From The Grind but despite Triple H's Not the kind grind. of gentler WWE where wrestlers can get more time off for family matters and personal matters, the WWE is still a demanding job that takes a physical and emotional toll on its talent. Wrestlers are constantly working with injuries and doing so out of mm -hmm. a devotion to the company and or concern of losing their spot. Yeah. For some wrestlers, the chance to take time off and indulge in their personal lives, such as starting or raising a family, is worth stepping away from the WWE, even if it doesn't mean jumping to another promotion. This may seem risky for secondary superstars, but as fans have seen in many cases, the indie scene and secondary promotions are often willing to hire former WWE superstars, mm -hmm. regardless of whether they were main eventers or working on main event. Facts. Number 7. A Chance at Hollywood and it's been working for top dollar, bro. <clears throat> He's been getting a lot, a lot more love. I think he, what is he, the 
is it the social media or the internet champion or something like that? Correct me if I'm wrong for TNA. He's been getting a lot of love. They weren't really using him much in WWE in a substantial way. And now he's actually getting a lot. I've been I've seen a lot of my uh fellow uh wrestling content creators show him love and react to him. And they're doing a lot of stuff. TNA and TNA and WWE. So I mean he's been he's been flourishing and there's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, you can't knock somebody for, you know, build, building up their star and betting on themselves and it's actually working out for them. Interestingly, more wrestlers are trying their chance at Hollywood. Indeed, some wrestlers find themselves being courted by Hollywood with producers hoping to bring in the next Rock, Dave Batista, or John Cena. While breaking into Hollywood can be difficult, wrestlers have the advantage of experience in front of a camera. The mm -hmm. athleticism needed for films and are often the same agents that actors have. Leaving the WWE, even if it's on a temporary basis, to pursue an acting career is a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. If a wrestler is signed to do a TV show or film, they may find better financial benefits. Even if a wrestler who discovers that they dislike acting can benefit by having the extra star power of having appeared on a small screen or silver screen. Thus, when they return to wrestling, a promotion can hide their Hollywood cash there and hopefully the mainstream publicity most wrestling promotions kill for. <laughs> Number 8, AEW's decline. Another reason why wrestlers are leaving the WWE is that the company no longer seems to feel the need to sign talent just to keep them from jumping to AEW. Mm. This began during COVID when the WWE released talents, some of which signed lengthy deals with the company when Vince McMahon tried to lock down talent from jumping to AEW. Yep. That was when AEW was thriving and there was concern the promotion could put a dent in WWE's business. However, AEW's decline has only reinforced the idea that WWE needn't sign every existing talent in order to keep them from AEW. With few exceptions, AEW has failed to use many of the talents that jumped there when their WWE deals expired. And TKO Holdings philosophy. Which is, is crazy too because WWE's doing the big, the biggest numbers it's done in its entirety of its history now so they have this leverage of well if we're not using you and we're not really making no money from you all right you can go you can go to wherever you want to go before it was more of we're trying to keep you just so you don't go to the opposition now it's like you can wwe's still gonna be making millions shit billions of dollars now they got a lot of they have they brought they've been able to get new fans and they've been able to get a lot of the older fans to come back and enjoy the product. So, I mean, to each his own, but that's just kind of the situation we're in right now. Honestly, with WWE, they have the leverage of you can leave if you want. We're not going to stop you, not going to hold you hostage, you know, you know, what I'm saying if you come back, cool. If not, it's cool, too. TKL Holdings business practices suggest that the company rarely sees anyone as a must-have, with the possible exceptions such as Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes, uh -huh. and that it's a buyer's market. If wrestlers want to work in the world's largest promotion, they can do so if the terms are right to TKO. If not, there are many other talents already working or being trained. Whether this hurts the WWE in the long run creatively may not matter to TKO, nope. since the company is making record profits through the wrestling content as it is with the WWE brand. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. Why so many wrestlers... And, and that's just that's another important part. This isn't just a Vince thing no more. They're TKO Holdings, they, they, they care really about that bottom dollar. So they don't have a problem with letting copious amount of people go if they don't feel like the bottom dollar is being met. Not even on a personal petty type situation. It's just that's they're really trying to make as much money as possible. And they're starting to see it on the WWE side of things. So that's why it's like this DiJack situation is unfortunate because they weren't doing nothing with them. And I don't know who you blame there. I you know, you may have to blame Triple H there. Because they didn't have nothing for the guy. I think you could have you could have easily had him on TV. It would have been cool to have him feud with Braun Breaker, the guy you're trying to build up. Granted, I know some would say, are oh, you just going to use him to enhance Braun Breaker? You could have did something, even if it's not Braun Breaker. You could have had him feud with somebody, be on the show, be this menacing heel, trying to take out some of the baby faces. You could have did something. Because there's obviously, there was a, a decent amount of people, especially on social media, that wanted to see him. I wanted to see him on the main roster again in this role. So, I don't know. But comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about Dijak leaving WWE. Did, 
Is it something that you're, you know, disappointed about, upset about, or are you indifferent to it? Doesn't really matter to you. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole DiJack leaving WWE situation. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.